Coming up on Around Kern County, you can thank a veteran for their service. We're sharing where you can go to join in on this Veterans Day tradition. And Animal Services is hoping you'll bring home a forever friend just in time for the holidays. How you can attend their upcoming adoption event when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. It's officially November, which means Veterans Day is right around the corner. And you can help celebrate our local veterans in partnership with our Kern County Library. Beginning Tuesday, November 1st through Thursday, November 10th, all branches will be hosting their annual Thank a Veteran Art Card Project. Residents are invited to stop by their local library branches and create special handwritten thank you cards in honor of our veterans. So we are so honored to bring back our annual Think a Vet program. It's the library's time to honor our vets that have served our country. And so what we do is um, we supply materials to all 22 locations, Kern County locations, and residents can come in and they can create a card which will be distributed locally to our veterans. For more information about this project and ways to get involved, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. Here in Kern County, we have more than 40,000 veterans. They serve our country and now, some of them are serving our community right here as valued members of our workforce. Our countywide communications team has spent the past few weeks traveling to different Kern County departments to interview some of the veterans who call our workforce home. Next week, we'll get to know these brave men and women using the skills they learned in the military to serve our residents on a daily basis. We're going red, white, and blue on Thursday, November 10th, so be sure to tune in for a special episode of Around Kern County in honor of Veterans Day, spotlighting our very own veteran employees. As a reminder, you can watch the show on social media or our website, kerncounty.com. The holidays are right around the corner and Kern County's workforce is coming together to help feed local families in need. The Board of Supervisors proclaimed November and December as Kern County Cares canned food drive months. County staff are encouraged to collect non-perishable food items as well as monetary donations for the Golden Empire Gleaners to distribute canned food items to our community's most vulnerable. Last year, Kern County collected more than 118,000 pounds of food. This year, the goal is to reach 125,000 pounds of collected food. If you would like to contribute or participate in a special charity golf tournament at the Kern River Golf Course, please contact Human Services or visit their website, kcdhs.org. Public Works is holding a series of household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of November. On Saturday, November 5th, you can get rid of your waste at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You can also drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around your home on Friday, November 11th at the Lebec Transfer Station, Saturday, November 19th at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill, and Saturday, November 26th at the Kern Valley Transfer Station from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You're encouraged to get rid of cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information about these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And we're ending today with an exciting opportunity to take home a forever friend just in time for the holidays. Anna Marie Odo with our Office of Countywide Communications is here with more. If you're looking to expand your family, Kern County Animal Services is partnering with more than 40 local organizations to host their fourth mega adoption event on Sunday, November 6th at Stramler Park. 
Each organization will be set up from 10 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon, with more than 75 animals total available for adoption. For interested pet owners, each organization will have their own adoption criteria and fees, along with other helpful resources. Some mega adoption event partners include the City of Bakersfield Animal Care Center, the City of Shafter Animal Control, the City of McFarland Animal Shelter, Marley's Mutt's Dog Rescue, Have a Heart Humane Society, and SOS Dog Rescue. For more information about this event, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.